everyone and welcome back to our channel. Sorry if the lighting's a bit off in this video. It's a very dull day today for some unknown reason. It's just been rubbish, horrible, rainy weather. It has not been nice at all. So I'm sorry about that. I would put my light on but I have been filming TikToks all morning so it's out of charge. So I'm really sorry if the lighting's a little bit funny in this video. Hopefully it's not too bad. Anyway, I have got a pull and bear haul. I have two bags. Got a big one and a little one but I only actually have like six things. Same as most of the recent pull and bear hauls that I've done and we do like separate clips where I like actually talk you through each item individually and go through them all. That's what I'm going to do for this video. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to get straight into this one. I really do hope that you do enjoy. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna start off with this little knitted cardigan hoodie style thing. It's like a mixture of both. It is so cute. I love it. I've seen so many people wearing like matching sets with like matching knitted bottoms. Oh my god. I wish they had them. I couldn't see them on the Pull and Bear website when I was looking but I wish they had the full set. I definitely would have got them but I thought this with a pair of jeans, pair of leggings and a nice little top underneath is perfect for like autumn time and in the UK, honestly, at the minute, the weather has been so confusing. Like, it is so humid. It's literally like 20 degrees in the air, but then the weather's not brilliant. And there's a little bit of wind. So something like this to throw on is the perfect thing. I love khaki for this time of year. It's just the best colour, really. It's very autumnal. It's not too thick, which is also really nice, because I think I can put this like underneath a jacket, underneath a coat. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. It's cuffed at the sleeves. It's also cuffed a little bit at the bottom and it does zip down and it has little pockets at the side. I did size up in this one, I got a size medium and I'm really glad that I did because it did look pretty tight fitting on the model and I didn't want it to come and it'd be like way too tight for me and I just didn't like how it fit. I wanted to be able to have a little bit of slouch with it even though this is still pretty tight fitting. Like the arms are very very small. I think it's just going to fit me a little bit nicer and I'm going to be a little bit comfier. It comes to a really nice length as well. It's not really long. It's not cropped though. It's going to sit like just on the waistline which I think is like the perfect length because most jackets are going to be perfect with it because I hate it when I've got a jacket on and it is shorter than the jumper or hoodie that I've got on. I really don't like that and I feel like this one, even my cropped style jackets, I'll still be able to wear this underneath. Fingers crossed anyway. But yeah, really love this one. It is coming over colours, but I just thought this khaki was nice. A little bit different from like the blacks and the whites and the neutrals that I tend to wear all the time during this time of year. It's still like a basic staple colour for autumn. This is so cute. I am so glad that I sized up there because it would be way too tight on my arms. If not, it's like the perfect tightness really. Any tighter would be too tight. It sits really nice. It is just on the waistline. It's got cute little pockets. Nice sit down. I'm not going to zip it down right now because I don't have anything on underneath. But then the back is just the same. So cute. The only thing I will say is that the, the hood is a little bit too flimsy for my liking. A bit too big. It doesn't need to be as big in my opinion. Like it doesn't, you see what I mean? Like it sort of just sits a bit flimsy on here. But apart from that, everything else about it is fine. And it's not like a deterrent for me. I'm not, not going to wear it because of the hood. But that's my only like little change that I'd make if I could but this is so cute. This next thing is so cute and it kept going out of stock and they had a few different ones and I want to get them all but they literally kept going out of stock. I am in love with this top. It says nap time on it. It's got a little bear in his little pyjamas. Oh it's so cute. They had this in like a black with the little bears on it. I don't know what it says. It didn't say nap time, it said something else. And I really wanted that one, but they didn't have my size. I might have actually been fully out of stock, so I really want to get that one next time. This one, I just couldn't resist it. I just thought it was so sweet. It's this nice little thing just to chuck on either underneath stuff or with a pair of oversized jeans and a trench coat over the top or a cropped jacket. And a nice leather jacket. This would look really nice. Just simple, chill. A pair of Uggs on with it, make it nice and cozy. I just, I loved this. The only thing I will say is this is so thin like you can see my hand through that and it's just very very thin material it's really not great for pull and bear i expect more because i'm pretty sure this was like 16 pounds yeah it was literally 15 pound 99 i think for that much because i've had little tops from pull and bear before i think i paid like six seven quid they've been like this thin and i just got them to like wear around the house chill and to be fair I don't care because I know that I'm only paying that much money. But for £16, I do expect the quality of this to be better. And it's just not that great, unfortunately. The neckline is really nice, really nice and thick. It looks like it's not going to gape at all. It's just going to sit nice on the neck. I need to try this on. This might fit a bit better, but it's got like no structure to it at all. It's very, very flimsy. You can already see already how flimsy it is. And it's just so thin. 
it's a shame because I love the design. I think it's so cute. I might end up just wearing this to bed, to be honest, because it is so sweet. But for 16 quid, I don't want a top that I'm just going to wear to bed. I want to wear it out. And yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's a really nice length as well. It's not too long. It's everything about it is perfect. I like the length that it goes to on the sleeves. The only thing that I don't like about it is the thickness of it. Such a shame. Such a shame because if it was thicker, It'd be the perfect thing. You know what? This top isn't actually too bad when it's on. It looks a lot better on than it did off. Like, it's not half as see-through. I don't have, like, anything on. No bra, nothing. And you can't see anything. The arms are a really nice length. The neckline's really lovely. Sits really nice on. It is still quite thin and flimsy. Quality's not as good as the price. It doesn't reflect the price, in my opinion. But it's such a cute little top. I'm definitely going to keep it. Even if it's just, like, chill in the house day to day. It's a nice top to have, but I do wish the quality was better. That's the only thing that lets it down. Such a shame, but at least it's not completely see-through. Next up, I got another hoodie. I love hoodies. I live in them. I literally wear them all the time. But I've actually just, like, sold a few and gone through all of my wardrobe. I actually don't have as many hoodies as I thought I did, so I thought I would stock up on some more. I really loved this light grey colour. The hood is quite big, but I think it's going to sit really nice. I think it's going to be quite structured when it's on and keep you very nice and covered if it is raining. Then it's says slow garden there's no hurry on it how sweet is that i love that because it's not too graphic not too in your face but it adds a little bit of detail something a little bit different and then the back is the same thing but big that is so cool i just loved it i thought the design was really cool i love the color it's very slouchy it's very oversized i stuck true to says i'm really good that I did because it is very very big it's very oversized this is giving like boyfriend's hoodie vibes it is very oversized but i love it comes quite low down that is my only worry that it's just going to be like too baggy but i think it'll be all right when it's on i'll probably just tuck it under like i do most of my jumpers anyway there's not less to say about this it is just a basic staple hoodie but that's exactly what i wanted and i just feel like the graphic just adds a little bit more to it and makes it a little bit more exciting and i can wear this on its own I can put jackets and stuff over the top of it when it gets a little bit colder. I can wear this with leggings, wear it with jeans. I don't think I'll be able to wear it with my cropped jacket, so that's the only thing I will say. But apart from that, it's going to go with everything. So I am so excited to wear this, and I just fell in love with the graphic on it. This is so nice. It actually fits so much better again when it's on. It's really nice and slouchy on the arms, really nice and comfy. It cuffs in the perfect amount. Actually, it doesn't go as low down as what I thought it would. Like, it sits really, really nicely. Just, like, fold over and sits perfectly on me. And then it's got a pretty big hood. But it is, like, not really structured. But it's going to sit nicely. It's not... It doesn't look really thin and rubbish quality. And then the back, the design is so cool. I love it. And I think as well, even, like, the grey and grey looks really nice together. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I'm going to wear it all the time. I got myself a basic staple dress because I love dresses. I don't wear them that much because I don't really find myself going out on a night that much. I like to be in bed. I like my bed. I like early nights. I just like a chill life. But for days where I'm going out for a nice meal, I want to get a little bit more dressy, but it's not, I need a new outfit. I need something to stand out. I just want to stock up on like staple dresses that I can put underneath things, wear day or night, dress up, dress down, and I thought this was the perfect one. They had it in multiple colours, but I really loved this beige colour. I'm obsessed with the neckline. It's going to sit really nice and high. It's really, really nice and silky stretchy material, and then it's just a long maxi dress it does look like it's going to be very long i think it is going to hit the floor for me but i am only five foot two and i don't think i'll mind it as long as it's literally not drowning me on the floor i think it's going to be absolutely fine and again i can wear this during the day i can check it on with a blazer i can put it on with trainers i can dress it up put heels on accessorize a lot and um, since you're in with a belt you can do so much because you can wear like a really big fancy belt and really dress it up that way because it's so plain or you can sort of meet it in the middle put a pair of boots on a nice jacket a dressier jacket I go out like for a nice meal in it. So this is such a versatile piece, which is why I got it. I just wanted a dress that I can reach more often. Whereas I have dresses where the nice and I can reach them every now and then. But it's sort of one of those where once you've worn it two or three times, people are going to be like, oh, she's wearing that dress again because it is so stand out. So I wanted just a staple piece that I can go to all the time. And this is absolutely perfect. It's really nice, thick materials, very slinky, very soft. Feels like it's going to be very comfy on my body, which is exactly what I want. But still, suck me in a little bit. It's going to be a flattering dress i think and yeah i'm very excited about this and this wasn't too expensive either it was only well this is in euros 17 euros 99 i'm not sure how much it was when i ordered it but that's not a bad price at all considering how often i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna add obviously a try on clip of everything anyway but this dress 
is so lovely it comes to a really nice length it does just sort of like trail the floor but it just hits the floor and makes it so really really good length sits so nicely on the neckline it's so flattering it cinches me in everything's just really really nice this is the back so again just pretty simple it is like a tiny bit gapy here just a little bit but it doesn't really matter most of the time if I'm going to be wearing this dress I'm probably going to have my hair down. The only thing that I will say is that it is a little bit on the thinner side like I probably would want to wear a bra and I think I need no VPL knickers on but apart from that I absolutely adore this. I think it's beautiful and I want to get it in every single colour. I got myself a new bag. Now I am a shoulder bag girl most of the time or like a tote bag girl but just because I'm either going to not really be taking anything at all or taking like a bag full of stuff and I need loads of room. I have really been wanting a bag like this for so long just for days where I need to pack a few more bits or days where I want to take my Polaroid camera but I can't fit that in a shoulder bag or if I'm going out for a nice meal and I don't really want to wear a shoulder bag I want to wear something a bit different I can grab this which is why I got it in this beautiful creamy colour because again it's going to go with everything and it's just a perfect little staple to have I think day to day this would look really nice a trench coat this is giving me like effortless vibes. Trench coat, pair of jeans, trainers, basic top. Just like a basic day to day outfit and then chuck this on. I don't think I would use this if I was going out like all day because I think it would get on my nerves having to carry it which is why I think it's more if I'm like going out for a meal or if I'm traveling somewhere but I'm not really gonna be holding my bag for ages and I don't need a full bag's worth of stuff. This has a lot of room on the inside and it does come with a big strap as well. So if you do want a longer strap it comes with that. I don't know if I'd necessarily use it that much with the crossbody but I'm glad that it's there as an option and I can definitely fit like a book in there so I need like a little bit more than a shoulder bag this is going to be the perfect thing to reach for it's really good quality it feels very sturdy I like the bottom the bottom's like very structured and square so it's just going to sit really nice like it looks very nicely structured it's not flimsy at all and yeah I'm very very happy with this here is the bag. Oh, it's so cute. It actually fits nice on my arm. Like, it's not too small to not fit. So I can just carry it around like this if I want to. I'll just carry it in my hand. This is so nice. It's the perfect size. Just a little stable bag. I am obsessed. Then the last thing, which I think might be my favourite thing from this order, is the nicest jumper ever. I don't think you can beat stripy jumpers. I think they're timeless pieces. They're never going to go out of fashion. And I loved that this was like, can you see? It's like a dark brown. It's not quite black. I just thought it was so cute. It's not too thick either. I've been trying to get like a mixture of jumpers, like nice oversized knitted ones, but also little knitted ones because I find the big ones, you can't really put a jacket over the top of it. It gets a bit much. It gets a bit cramped. Like I always feel like cramped when I'm trying to put a jacket over like a big knitted jumper. So a nice thinner one like this is perfect for layering. It's got really nice wide arms, cuffs in only a little bit. It's quite a wide arm, which I love. I think it's going to sit like just over the arm, which is my favourite. Really nice collar again, nice and knitted, nice and high necked. And then it's the same at the bottom, pretty straight at the bottom and it has little sad slits which I just think is so lovely. I think again, pair of jeans, pair of leggings, this with a nice mini skirt, pair of tights and a nice pair of boots would look unbelievable. So again, this is definitely a piece that I can dress up or dress down and wear so many occasions so I had to pick this up. Came in other colours, like I think all of the bases were white but the stripes they had different colours. I just wanted to get something that was still a staple, still a neutral colour, still something that I can wear with all sorts, but that wasn't just black and white because most of like the stripy stuff that I have is usually black and white. So I thought that this like nice dark brown was just a nice little change, but not too different, not too out of my comfort zone. So yeah, that is unreal and my favourite thing out of this whole order. How cute is this jumper? It is so nice and flattering it just fits me exactly how i wanted it to i love the way it sits it comes a little bit longer at the back but not too long like it's not like drowning me the stripes are the perfect size it's just so cute i told you it does come over my arms which is my favorite i just find it so cute so cozy and it sits so nice on my neckline as well i really really love this I'm so happy it fits so nice. So that is everything that I got from Pull and Bear. I really do hope that you did enjoy this one. I am very, very excited for proper autumn fashion now because I feel like it's only just started to get a little bit cooler and I wanted to get some pieces that I'm going to be able to wear throughout all of the cold months and I'm so excited to style and wear these pieces. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any others and I will see you very soon.